Hey everyone, it's Libby from Meister Tarot. I'd like to acknowledge the Waramai First Nations people on whose traditional lands these videos are made. That's W-O-R-I-M-I. -I. And welcome to you, your guides, my guides in the universal energy. Something a little bit different in this reading. Um, for those that have been with me for a long time know that I actually have a second channel, which I have been neglecting. Uh, it's called uh, Meister's Guidance. Uh, you will find a link somewhere on my page but if you just uh, put Meister's Guidance in the uh, YouTube search engine you'll find it. It's a page where I do uh, do spiritual readings and I was doing them every week but while, I, while I'm doing uh, personal readings uh, which I find incredibly incredibly draining I have let that and elapse. However, those readings are for any time. The idea is that you scroll through through the um, videos and when you see either an image or a title that captures your attention that's the message that you're supposed to hear at the moment however in light of the uh, lunar eclipse happening at the moment and then the solar eclipse in a couple of weeks time i just do want to do a bit of a spiritual reading for us at this time uh, as i've been reminded by uh, denise from denise knight Div divination uh, the um, lunar eclipse, see, I'm, I don't do astrology at all. I can't seem to get my head around it. But as reminded by Denise, uh, the, the eclipses affect us for, uh, I believe, up to eight weeks beforehand and then uh, up to six months afterwards. So quite, quite uh, powerful energies coming through at the moment with both the lunar and solar eclipse. Also the spring equinox having just, well, my, the spring equinox in the northern hemisphere, autumn equinox in the southern hemisphere, the, uh, the equinox going through at a similar time as well. I just want to have a look and just do bit of a spiritual reading for us. So I'm going to draw a card from the Namaste deck. And then I've got my Nature's Whispers, my uh, Work Your Light Oracle cards and my uh, Cosmic Guidance Oracle cards as well. I just want to see where this is going to go. So just first up, first up a message for us at this time. Oh, boy, oh boy. What's happening? Which one do you want? Oh, you actually want... You want that one. Okay. Yeah, love it. Okay. Just think I've put my cards up the right way. So the first card that, uh, well, the card that's been put out for me, which is the foundational message, is this card here. Absolutely beautiful. And the, and the saying on it, I'll hold this up so you can pause and read for yourself in a moment. Each time you notice a negative thought cross your mind, Stop and consciously replace it with a positive one. Practice until the pattern is broken. You will set yourself free. This is a blessing to give yourself. It will lend you a feeling of deep peace and contentment. So I'll just hold that up and pause and read it for yourself. But each time you notice a negative message, a uh, negative thought cross your mind, stop and consciously replace it with a positive one. Practice this until the pattern of negative thought is broken. By doing so, you will set yourself free. Very much um, Five of Swords energy in the Lightseers. So feel free to Google Lightseers Tarot Five of Swords energy. Is it five of swords or seven of swords? The self-sabotage. I think it might be the seven of swords. But very much it's just really about acknowledging and recognising your negative thoughts and consciously replacing those thoughts with a positive one. And practice this, and I'm talking on the hour, every hour, on the half hour, every half hour, until you break the cycle of those negative thoughts. What you're doing is you're pitting your conscious against your subconscious. And trust me, it is a bit of a battle. Practice it until the pattern is broken. The feeling of light and enlightenment, lightness and freedom that you will feel when you do so will be absolutely 
um, phenomenal. I'm just going to put that out there for you at this time when there is fear, when there is worry, they are negative thoughts. Replace them with a positive. What is it that you have to be grateful for at this time? What is it that is going fabulously in your life? What is it that you can do? Um, to quote an old quote, think, uh, uh, think global but act local. So think about us as a global community, as the planet, as a global intertwined community. But don't worry about the international stuff. What is it that you can do on your personal level? Plant a tree, vote, put solar on your house, whatever it is, walk to the shops instead of drive, whatever it is that you can do on a local level. We, nobody expects you to do any more than what you can do. Okay. Let's have a look. Drawing, I'm just going to draw a couple of cards from the Nature's Whispers Oracle. First up, beautiful, beautiful cards. I walked into a shop and I just went, and there was a whole wall of tarot and oracle cards and I just was so drawn to this particular deck. And when you're drawn to a deck, uh, that's the one that is meant for you. So a couple of cards from the Nature's Whispers just to fulfill As I say, a couple of cards, it's given me four cards. I'll bring you down and we'll go through each individually. So this was the first card we were given about breaking the negative messaging cycle. Have a clear endeavour about what it is that you can achieve. Oops, sorry, I've got that one turned over because we're talking, this is big picture on this side, but a clear endeavour of what you can do personally. This is about not getting caught up in the not getting caught up in the global and I love the fact that it's got a couple of flowers coming out of of earth here. This is very much about just being clear in your own mind what it is that you can bring and be gentle with yourself. You and I, we can't solve the world's problems. We can't feed the world. We can't uh, repair the, the entire planet ourselves. We can't um, make everybody see uh, goodness and gratitude and spirituality. We can only do what we can do. So be gentle with yourself. You will find it will be enough. You might even surprise yourself about how enough it is in the wider frame of this big picture. It will be enough. It will be transformative. Transformative to, to one that becomes two, becomes four, that becomes 16. All you can do is bring... Bring forth the, the positive energy come from a place of love, a place of peace, a place of acceptance, a place of gratitude, a place of calm in what is a, a planet filled with negative energies, and you will find it transformative. And what will happen, you will be planting the flowers in the big picture, the seeds for the bigger picture. Beautiful, beautiful cards there. So this is very much about just doing what you can do. And you will find that You'll influence one, you'll inf and they'll influence two, and that, etc. So, what I'm going to do is just draw some cards from the cosmic guidance in regards to this. It starts with a change in attitude, it starts in, a, in, in coming from a place of calm and peace 
and forgiveness and understanding of positive thoughts. Positive, what is it that we can do? And you'll find once you come from a place of positive thoughts, you'll actually see options that you can bring, that you can bring forward. Is it volunteering at a... Um, An election station? Is it simply taking a friend to vote? Is it when you are looking to purchase a new car, you look at perhaps hybrid options or along those lines? Is it getting rid of your lawn and planting a garden? If you're in the desert, is it a succulent cactus garden? If you're where you get some rain, is it beautiful flower beds for uh, for the bees and the butterflies. Planting herbs on your balcony if you're in an apartment. What is it that you can bring? Maybe making some sandwiches for homeless people. It may feel like if you take, make 10 sandwiches and take them out and give them to homeless people, you're going, it's only 10, but for those 10, it means the world. That's a couple of, ah, I just, I'm feeling so, um, I actually feel like buying the joy. It's a couple of cards from the Cosmic Oracle. Just in regards to this message, changing from the negative to the positive, clear endeavours of what you can do. Be gentle to yourself. We can't solve everything, but you'll find that each, each endeavour, no matter how small, will be a breakthrough and it will become part of the bigger picture. Think global. Act local. Oh, I love the dolphin. Joy, your inner child is here to play. Very much about changing from this negative to positive, living from a place of joy instead of a place of fear. Interesting caution, keep your guard up. So even though you are in this joy, doesn't mean you let anybody and everybody in. Make sure you protect yourself. This goes with being gentle with yourself. Protect yourself from the negative messages is what I'm thinking. Keep your guard up in regards to the negative messages. Be gentle with yourself. None of us are perfect. We all fall off the wagon on occasion and go with the flow. Go with the flow of the positive, the joy, the breakthroughs. Plant a native garden. Restore a piece of furniture. Rescue a cat, whatever it is. Trust that the universe is taking you on the path that you are meant to. Do not fight it. Be gentle with yourself as you step, slip back occasionally. But go with the flow and be patient because it is a long road. There is no overnight. It's step by step by step. We reach this big picture. This big picture moment. Step by step. Lifetime by lifetime. And it just starts with the first step. And when you take the first step, the second step will present itself. And then the third, and then the fourth. Until... We reach this future 
we can envision. Won't happen overnight, but it will happen. I'm just going to draw a couple of, well, let's see where we go. A card or two from the uh, Work Your Light Oracle deck. Let's see what message this has for us as well. Start with changing the negative thoughts to positive, coming from a place of calm and joy and appreciation, acceptance, gratitude. Be gentle with yourself, or you'll fall off the wagon. But you will find it transformative. It's almost like you will find a breakthrough in regards to uh, becoming a bigger picture person instead of. You'll find that those that live in fear, a very small picture, they're, they're all about me. The big picture is all about us. Ooh, cards flying out at me everywhere. I'm ready. Oh. Those back, that was just me bad shuffling. <laughs> the boys will tell me one way or the other. So, yeah, have a clear endeavor. Have a clear endeavor about changing any negative thoughts to positive. Be gentle with yourself. It doesn't happen overnight, but it will happen. We all fall off the bandwagon during this process, but you'll find once you change one, two of those negative thoughts, the rest will simply just fall away. It will be a massive breakthrough moment where it start, you, you move into this uh, vision, endeavour of big picture. Us instead of me. Part of this changing to the positive is living in joy. And the joy is um, being appreciative of what you do have, sharing the joy with others, sharing others' achievements and others' excesses as well as your own. And allow your inner child to play with it. Keep your guard up. We all slip back on occasion. Try and catch any negative negative thoughts in the web so that you can change them, go with the flow of this process and be patient. It doesn't happen overnight, but it will happen. It is step by step by step. And you'll be surprised at how quickly the change comes through. So even though I'm saying it won't happen overnight, it does happen. Uh, fairly quickly if you are diligent in the process of identifying the fear, identifying the negative, identifying the feeling of loss and disappointment and frustration and heartbreak and changing those internal self-messaging to a positive version that is, po that is personal to yourself, the old... I'm not good enough, I'm not worthy, I'm not whatever it is. Capture them, change them. Identify them for what they are, untruths, because yes, you are worthy, yes, you are good enough. Okay. Work your light, Oracle. Eclips eclipses are a period of huge change. And this is what we're talking about, changing changing from a feeling of lack and fear just say yes. I don't know that I can say any more. Just say yes. Okay, love to you all.
uh, just understand that we are at, in a period of change. It's, it can be changed for the better if we stay in the positive. Love to you all. Take care.